Today, let's talk about augmented reality. Augmented reality has been very popular lately. The other day, I saw online there's a new service in Japan that you don't necessarily need to code anymore to develop your own augmented reality experience. So I want to use this chance to talk about how it works and what types of augmented reality out there and I can explain based on what we've done for the past couple of years. For those of you who don't know what augmented reality is, when we watch movies, we see those superheroes or um, hackers uh, using finger and see a lot of digital, that's called augmented reality experience right in front of their face. They're pointed to the digital data. A long time ago, I don't know if you guys have watched any uh, Japanese animation. I think even back in 1980s, 90s, there are some sci-fi animations that have the concept of augmented reality. And that moment, I'm, I'm sure a lot of people can't even imagine one day it will be so real and for us to use. The existence of augmented reality definitely changed the way we see digital art, digital content. And for example, I'm not sure if you've tried the Google app, Google Map, now you can see the augmented reality sign that it shows you exactly where you go if you if you search the place you want to go you can see uh, it shows you the direction with the augmented reality sign also for 25 cities they're using the the sightseeing so even if you're not looking for some sightseeing but you may get lost in a small street you can actually go uh, see the the sightseeing sign on the map so it's actually easier for tourists to go around the city that's the GPS argument to rally we'll talk about it later so today I want to use the this Japanese service that I'm t I just talked about and give you some insights of what types of argument rallies are out there so as you can see in the background so first one, so when you go to these um, service, the first one is marker augmented reality. What is marker augmented reality is you have to design a marker and let the, your phone or other kind of device to detect image, let the experience, animated experience show up uh, through your phone. So we did it when we had an installation two years ago at a stock market. We made, we used our branding image and then we designed an Imagine. So I remember that time our coder, uh, need, the, the developer need to develop based on the ratio of this image. And then uh, the designer need to design certain image that you can code easily and also easy to detect this whole experience and we made uh, reimagine uh, with some animation pop out a lot of people think it's really cool at that moment not many people have done augmented reality so it's a cool experience for a lot of people to see because it's it is animated this is marker based AR experience with a marker based experience the user can see the detail of the animation with different angles and you can you can see it very clearly. I think the fun part about it is you can go around, you can use your phone and look very detailed. The marker is programmed. But with this Japanese service, I'm sure there are a lot of other services out there. This is the newest we can find. So with this service, you don't really have to design your own marker. You don't have to code and program the marker. So all you need to do is put the animation, usually it's GLB file, if I'm not wrong. So if you have a 3D model and 3D animation, and which is GLB file, then you can upload the file. You, the, the service already gave you design marker. So if you want to make a business card, you can choose 
and you can make your own business card with a marker and animation. I think you, you only have to pay monthly fee. They have different kind of plan, of course. Second one is Marker Less AR. Most famous Marker Less AR is Pokemon Go. So for example, if you want to sell a product, artwork, if you click on the item on the website, if we, when we make for our clients, we make the painting into 3D and the coder uh, code it onto the website and develop certain way to show depends on the artwork size and then the user can experience the whole the augmented artwork on their wall through their through their mobile so their mobile is reading the data this also can do it with this this service i'm talking about and i think ebay is doing it right now um, there are a lot of other websites you can just upload it your 3d artwork the tricky part is making your piece 3d especially if you want to make uh, furniture or some kind of i think cloth is pretty difficult at this moment um, artwork can be simple the third one that you can use for the service is facial recognition I'm sure most of you have tried augmented reality filter on Snapchat, on Instagram. We've had some posts about Spark AR to how to make your own augmented reality filter. If you're interested, we can put the link down in the bio. And if you have any questions, you can give us a shout anytime. Especially for Instagram, you can make your own augmented reality filter. Um, if you're interested in developing and making your own digital experience, try with this kind of service. I'm sure there are a lot out there. And another one I want to talk about is the most, it's kind of the most difficult, but I find in the Digital Art Month in New York, uh, I can show you on the map. So what they do, this is the GPS augmented reality. So you can see, so they have a map that you can search on the map. You can go to the space place using your your phone and you can detect, you can see the whole building augmented animation experience popping up. I find this is a great way to celebrate digital art. And I'm although I can't really experience in New York at this moment, but you can still see it from their website. The whole experience seems very very creative i i suggest any artist who looking forward to making their own digital artwork can also try with with adobe arrow adobe arrow is very simple to use so all you need to do is download app and upload it your photoshop illustration file and you can um, play around animate it make your artwork become alive and take videos it's a great way to let your audience to to play around with your art um, you can make it on the street you can make it as big as possible as small as possible um, yeah that's that's another great way to try your digital art in a real world environment basically augmented reality it can be a very creative way to expand your world from the physical world added another layer of engaging content, digital content. Recently, I don't know if you noticed, the iPhone 12 Pro add this um, depth sensor on their camera what, and really help with the augmented reality experience. So before, when we we're using the phone camera, looking at the digital augmented reality experience, you can't really stand in front of those three objects and you can really feel the depth and with a new iphone 12 pro camera it can calculate the distance between the camera and the object the person can go through the digital experience or in front of it before it only happened on the ipad pro now it's uh, developed on a new phone and i think that's a great development on the technology part the augmented reality will be another normal technology enhance our everyday life experience i'm really looking forward to it 
and if you have any suggestions questions if you you've done something cool please share with us on the comment thank you for watching this video i will see you very soon in the next video and take care